from tree to paper is called the book that I'm gonna read for you today, written by Wendy Davis. Did you think any time? Where does paper come from? Or how paper is made in factory? Let's read this book and let's see what find out. Paper. You can fold it. You can fly it. You can write on it. You can color it. And you can read from it. But where does paper come from? It comes from trees. Lumberjacks chop down the trees and cut off their branches. The trees are now logs that will travel by truck to the paper mill. At the mill, a crane scoops up the logs and stacks them in huge piles. When the logs go into the mill, they're cut up. Then, giant drums strip away the hard, rough bark. The logs roll out onto a long belt that carries them to the chipper. Here they are chopped into tiny pieces. Is it paper yet? The digester turns the chips into a wet mushy pulp that looks something like oatmeal. Afterward, the pulp is whitened, washed and fluffed. Does this look like paper now? The big Virginia machine presses and squeezes the pulp until it becomes a long, thin sheet that is ready for the dryer. Around and around, the paper wins over hot rollers, hundreds of feet of them. Bit by bit, the last of the water is taken out. It's finished! The long rolls of paper can be cut to any size and shaped and colored and printed for hundreds of different uses. Now you can cut it, you can tape it, you can fold it, you can fly it. You can wrap it up, you can rip it up, you can color it, you can read from it. It's paper. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.